Hi guys, Rekus here with a new video and today I want to explain to you the basics of the Tree of Roots. Um, this was a wish from one of my viewers, um, really not only one, it was quite a few actually, I was surprised, but it was right for criticism because I started reviewing the Tree of Roots upgrades for certain heroes like um, Starring Jara and Espen and uh, never bother bothered to explain the basics of the Tree of Roots, so um, some of you that weren't quite at the stage or just starting upgrading the Tree of Roots had um, a little bit of a problem understanding. And let's try to fix this um, by explaining the basics of it. Basically, the Tree of Roots is the new upgrade level after Stella. So basically, after you've upgraded the hero to V4, like this SFX, you will have access to the Tree of Roots, which also means only V4 heroes can get upgrades on the Tree of Roots, and you will enter it here, and once you enter it, it will basically look like here on my Starring Jara. Um, you will go inside and basically have this tree, um, which you can upgrade in front of you. And this tree um, consists of different aspects that you can upgrade, the first one being the basic tree level that you can find down here, it's right now level 20 for my Starring Jara and you can upgrade it by spending Spiritual Essence and Stellar Shards. Um, you will need a lot more Stellar Shards than uh, 4v4 hero to max this tree. Um, the tree level ranges from 0 to 120, 120 being the max of course, and every 20 levels you basically reach the threshold where you will have to put in a 10 star to progress, but by putting in this 10 star you will also unlock certain um, buffs for your hero and you will um, break the level barrier and you will be able to upgrade the hero an additional 10 levels. And also, which is also very nice, you will get this beautiful red symbol as new symbol for your hero. And um, this one changes actually. Um, we are right now at level 20, which is the first threshold that you can um, reach and uh, just broken through this uh, threshold by putting in a 10 star and by that we unlocked the slot for the core of root at level 20 and our hero was upgraded to t1 it is called like before we had v1 v2 v3 v4 now you have t1 to t6 t6 being the highest possible tier of hero at the moment with a level 120 tree of roots so um, at level 20, as I said, we unlock the slot for the core, we'll later talk about the core, and progressing further, we will unlock the first ability at level 40 of the uh, Tree of Origin. And um, those branches here are called sublimations. What does a sublimation actually do? Well, you know the stellar system, so you're kind of a bit familiar with it. Basically, this first sublimation um, is an upgrade to your existing ability, in this case the active skill, of the hero you are upgrading. So a little bit like with Stella, where um, you had four upgrades to each to one of the abilities, you'll have the same in the Tree of Roots. But in addition to this main skill upgrade that brings some buffs that are different for every hero, of course, um, you will get those three fruits, those, those three additional buffs that you can unlock as well. And those con uh, contain some really mighty buffs that um, can change the way the hero works entirely. Well, not entirely, still Jara still CC hero, but you'll be able to do way more than before. And this is really quite interesting. Um, the other skills are of course unlocked in order, like this is level 60, 80, and then we have 100, um, where we unlock the last skill. And if we have a look at my Vesa, we can actually see some progression here. I've unlocked everything in this um, skill sublimation. Um, you first have to unlock the main skill itself, and then you have to unlock the little fruits, I would say it's a tree, maybe it has, uh, uh, those are the fruits, um, in a specific order. And every unlock here, um, starting with the main skill, costs you 45,000 of a resource called Essence Sublimation. And um, 
the essence sublimation has four kinds, one for each skill. In this case, we would need the essence sublimation active skill. And to unlock all four nodes, we would need 180,000 of it. You can actually see the resource right here. I have currently 10,000 of it. Um, and there is a different resource for every for every uh, node. Of this one, I only have 100 and so on. Um, when you unlock uh, sublimations for a skill, you can also see it here. The skill no longer has the two, but has those three little points below there. And if you click on it, you can actually see the sublimations, which all have an effect on the skill itself, buff the skill, make it strong. Well, you can see like here, um, it also now gives the allies 33% of armor that I heal. And we have more skill damage and all this good stuff. Um, this is, of course, not a little amount of sublimation essence. As you can, uh, as you did see, I only had 100 of the one resource, so quite a bit of a grind, um, but quite worth it as well. Um, the last piece is the core. The core can be put into the slot after you've reached level 20 on the hero. And the core, um, in its basic form, gives 4% to 6% HP, and it can be upgraded two times by clicking on the core itself. You will have to enter one core as material for the th uh, first upgrade stage to advanced, and then another. Um, and when you have to, want, when you want to upgrade the core from advanced to noble, which is the last stage, you will have to enter two cores. So for a max core, you will need to actually get four cores in total. This is the max stage of the core, which grants you 12% attack and 18% of HP. So um, beyond that, every core has a pretty long text on it, which, uh, which, uh, which an additional, with an additional effect. And this effect is only activated um, in the team if you activate it manually. You have this new menu with this flag here, we can click on and you can decide on one of the cores that you can activate. And this setup right now is currently the Jara core activated. I could switch that to Vessar and we would actually see that the uh, little effect here is around the hero, which means that the core on this hero is active. Um, this basically changes one thing. I have a core on Vessar and a core on, on um, Jara, but I can only have one core active. So this long text um, from the Jara core is only active as long as I have the Jara core activated. But um, even if my, the core isn't activated and I have it equipped on the hero, like in the case here with um, Vesa, she still gets the attack and HP buff. So that's one thing to look out for. So how do you actually acquire the resources needed to progress in the Tree of Roots? Um, we have talked about spiritual essence, which is the main resource to upgrade the tree itself. And we have talked about um, essence sublimation, uh, which I have some of here with these three kinds of essence sublimation here. Uh, one kind I didn't drop yet, which is further down in the Void campaign. And the spiritual essence that I drop all the time. So basically I already gave the answer. The key is the Void campaign. You um, go into the Void campaign and basically once you've entered it, you start dropping spiritual essence. Unless you are me, then you want to show that you drop spiritual essence and don't have spiritual essence, <laughs> which is kind of funny, I guess. <laughs> but we dropped essence sublimation as well, which you don't drop from the beginning, actually. Um, the first time you start dropping essence sublimation is once you've cleared 2 to 10. Don't know if that says it anywhere here. I think it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But um, you will see it if you haven't cleared it yet. Then you can see that 2 to 10, clearing it actually unlocks the um, ability for you to, chose, uh, to choose which kind of um, essence sublimation you want to drop from the campaign, which you can do right here. We have selectable loot here. And I can select um, between the between the um, essence sublimations I want. The other thing that you've also seen are the cores. Um, I can also say that we drop them while we are at it. Uh, you drop those after clearing to four ten. Um, 
where you also get a core by the way that's a full core you get here quite cool um and you can collect them there the essence um, sublimation takes quite a long time to um, be collected in a suitable enough amount that you could actually upgrade something from the tea uh, as you can see i have like 28 currently here and i said that it's like 45,000 a node and we need 180,000 to actually upgrade a branch of the tree completely so that takes quite long what um, the age did about it or what the age did not about it wasn't the solution much more an incentive for us uh, to spend or get some things they introduced those essence sublimation selection chests that give you 90,000 of one of the um, essence sublimation whichever ever one you want so you will get this those resources and events as well and they also um, put spiritual essence in the growth plan so those are kind of like the new reward resources that the age put into the game and that will um, be an incentive to go deeper into events in the future as well uh, same goes for course they also um, of course entered the uh, put some core selection chests here um, one note if you guys haven't noticed this is only half a core um, it says it right here but it's not quite obvious um, collect 100 scattered or a core of origin charts and as you can see it only uh, contains 50 so you will need two of those chests to actually get a core uh, keep that in mind so with that guys i think we have explained everything um, as you can see you can make your heroes quite big like this we will do some nice things in um, coming up forest is always coming up and for all of you that are still watching at this point after all the long explanations a little preview we have a giant killer Itaka. that's going to be fun i'm pretty happy will be quite cool guys this will be will definitely be quite cool um and with that i would like to finish the video wishing you guys a great week some great events definitely uh, check out the dominator um, clear guide if you haven't yet uh, i already saw that a lot of people are clearing void vortex the top 100 is filling up quite rapidly i still got the top 10 um a month ago or something but um i think we were like here also like um, close by an Audi, and now you can see um some people from uh, Paragon cleared as well. Woodworks cleared, quite happy about that. Plow cleared, uh, we got the Bloop clear, we got... I uh, think Quad is through there as well. And um, a lot of people now already in um, Dominator 1. We're already at 60 people, guys. 60 people, quite insane. Um, quite cool to see so many people clear in such a short time. Uh, don't want to take credit for those clears uh, to my video. Um, definitely not. A lot of people will have cleared it by themselves, but still happy that um, this is now filling up and people can enjoy the great rewards from clearing Dominator. So, that's about it, guys. Have a great week, enjoy the rest of the anniversary event, and we will likely see us tomorrow. <laughs>